Hey Pisces, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. It should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. This can be your uh, situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends on the energy. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. All right, who's Pisces dealing with romantically, the 5th through the 11th? Who's Pisces dealing with romantically? Can you give me some information on Pisces person of interest? Come on, little guy. Pisces, woo. Okay, hold on. A lot of shit's popping out. Okay, the Holy Mountain, that's interesting. All right, how does Pisces feel romantically about this person? How does Pisces feel romantically about their person of interest? The all gifted. Oh shit, Pisces. I think I think Pisces may be in love. You know, I'm here for it. Yes. Um, what is the current situation with Pisces and their lover or their person of interest? The sun. You know, you guys possibly are dealing with a Leo, or there's been a lot of light or a you know, an illumination, I feel like, on relationships for you guys, probably you know, over this past, like, you know, few weeks in this upcoming week, okay? Um, what is uh, the current block or obstacle for Pisces and their partner? Current block for Pisces and their partner, a person of interest romantically, okay? The Seven of Cups um, may have a Venus in Scorpio, possibly, or it can just be like, there's a lot of like what ifs, right? Or a lot of how exactly does this work? How do we move forward? Where do we go from here? How does this work? Also, it's a lot of daydreaming and a lot of thinking. It's, it's, we're gonna have to clarify that. Let's just keep going. Woo, that just threw out. Okay, well, here's your outcome. It is the Hierophant. Also can be dealing with a Taurus. Here's the thing I do wanna say, okay? I do feel like you also can be dealing with either Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising, Cancer Venus. Some of you may also be dealing with other Pisces or maybe even somebody that has a Saturn in Pisces or something of that extent. Pisces, I feel very strongly that something that you've been hiding from this person, you need to walk away from, okay? And just so you know, I'm not pulling that out of my ass because we do have the moon here with the Eight of Cups. That's the top and the bottom of the deck. It may be a Scorpio, a Gemini, a Virgo, or an Aries that you need to let go of. And that's been a definite burden. This may be somebody that you've been with for 10 years plus. Um, but it's somebody that definitely has been holding you back from obtaining pretty much this lovely life with this person, this new person that you have. And I'm saying that because look how amazing these cards are. But then we have that wonky card. Here's the top of the deck. We have the moon. Then we have the ten of wands with the magician. Okay. So obviously letting go of the back and forth bullshit. I also definitely feel like there's a level of manipulation here with this person and i feel like you clearly see this especially with the ace of swords and the seven of swords here um aquarius moon possibly but there's definitely some type of communication that you've received where you know that you do have to end something in order for something new to begin okay and i feel like this is something that you've definitely been thinking about for a period of time and that's what's coming in strongly for you guys so i'm just going to express that and um honestly I guess kind of like keep it pushing. So as far as your partner's concerned, um, the Holy Mountain, right? First thing I'm picking up is this. Your partner is somebody who is very much a deep thinker. They're always in their head. They have a very high spiritual vibration. Um, they may not be attached to materialistic possessions. Like they don't look at money the same way I feel like like other people do, right? Like I feel like this person probably does have an abundance a level of abundance and wealth, but it's because they don't look at money in the sense of like, they're not greedy. They're not holding on to things. It's like them. It's like, oh, you want it? Cool. You know, go ahead. It ain't tricking if I got it. Right. It's like that type of energy. It's, it's something where they're just very kind of like go with the flow. I also feel very strongly too, that, you know, they think a lot. So a lot of times they may be very uh, quiet or introspective, 
Also too, uh, they're very intuitive. They may be, you know, may have psychic abilities. They're very wise. At times, I feel like they go up and down with their emotions. Like maybe sometimes, you know, they're melancholy or sometimes, you know, you feel like they leave a lot to chance or they may be hard to reach or, you know, I don't know. They're just different. And I feel like they're interesting to you as well. Um, and in Leo's reading, they also uh, had seven as well. And this person is definitely a great bed partner. Um, you know, you and this person can lay in bed for hours and just chill and watch ne Netflix. Okay, like, and, and the one thing I can say is that this person is very devoted to you. And, you know, they're very, very devoted lovers that go, you know, above and beyond for their partner. And I feel like with you and this person, you've definitely reached a level of intimacy that you've maybe not had before, okay? Um, so I just wanna, just wanna throw that out there. And this is a person that says like, you know, if you're like, yeah, man, like I wanna go lasso the moon, just for instance, this person's like, okay, I feel it. Well, let's figure out how to do that. Like this person is never worried about you know, the details, they always have a very positive um, aspect or positive outlook on how things are going. Okay, so that's the first thing. Um, now, when we come to the mountain, okay, the mountain, the holy mountain is about a level of prosperity. Okay, so like, um, it, it, it's also like this person being in your life really adds something to it. Okay, and it's also a very sacred place, I feel, where, you know, people, you know, the Holy Mountain in general, it, that's a place where people went to acquire, you know, vision and perspective, a different perspective on things. So I definitely feel like, you know, the first thing we have to do, or the first thing you have to do with this partner, is you have to accept the fact that they're different, right? And accept the current situation, and also understand that there is a big, heavy emphasis on the fact that, um, this person is asking you to discover a higher understanding, right? It's also about finding a level of wisdom and making a commitment to this person that is very much, you know, with love and compassion. And until you see that, you're like, you're, you're going to then have a level of um, clarity on, on everything, Okay, I also feel like this person is somebody that you shouldn't doubt. And you may have doubted this person in the past, but this person is very solid. Like what it is, is what it seems. And if you Pisces have a negative aspect or a negative outlook on this person, you need to change your thinking because they're coming up as a holy mountain. And based on the rest of these cards, it looks like you know that too, that, that they are a very solid person, but one that's very spiritual. I'm not trying to talk a lot about this, but I also feel strongly too, though, that because this person is highly intuitive and possibly psychic, they're they're in a different headspace. They really do focus on a level of the metaphysical realm and not necessarily the physical one. So for instance, if they want to obtain more money, they don't go about it by getting a second job. What they do is they start manifesting. They start saying things to the extent of, you know, I'm successful, I'm wealthy, uh, I have this or I have that. It's like they're affirming it and it's not necessarily physically doing it, but it's more so in a subconscious or metaphysical way. And believe it or not, I do feel like this person is very well off. Can you give me more information on Pisces person of interest, please, romantically? Yo, right as I said that, three of pentacles, okay? Um, again, I also feel like too though, this person works hard for everything that they have, okay? That is Capricorn Mars. This person is a go-getter. This person likes to have things done correctly. This person also does, like I know prior to this, I said they're not materialistic, but based on this card, they do like the finer things in life. And they're not going to settle for somebody who doesn't work as hard as they are, okay? Because to them, you know, this person even may be a workaholic where they're always doing something. They're always trying to, you know, work something out or put the perfect thing into place. But, but the thing about this person is they work hard because there's a level of stability that they do provide for their family. And I think that that's really, really key here with that three of pentacles. It's like they don't work hard for no reason, right? We also have the Princess of Cups here. So this can be any of the water signs. Um, and this is the Page of Cups. So uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But I feel like 
Cancer, Moon, Rising, Venus, any of the water signs, it's probably their secondary maybe, unless I get into here a little bit deeper. But this person is very um, naive when it does come to their emotions. You may feel like too, uh, Pisces, that at times they can be a bit uh, childish or a bit stubborn you know, with how they feel are very much stuck in a certain place, but you view that as them being emotionally, um, not necessarily like, like for, for you, because you are like, in my opinion, the deepest of the water signs, cause you're the fish. You may view this person as like, you know, very innocent and naive when it comes to certain things pertaining to, you know, love and romance and that type of thing. And look, here you are, Pisces, Prince of Cups. There may be times, too, where they give you a level of confusion. You can be dealing with another Pisces or even a Gemini here. Um, because I feel like this person expresses themselves, but then they may retract it because they get nervous. So that's maybe why we keep seeing, you know, the energy of, you know, the, as far as the, uh, emotions are concerned it's like levels but sometimes when they go when they express themselves sometimes it's a little bit clouded where you're like do they mean that do they not mean that what the hell does that mean and I do feel like uh ten of wands here this is Saturn in um Sagittarius I feel definitely that this person, I don't want to say that they run from their problems, but I do feel like in the past that they've had a really hard life. I feel like there's been a lot of weight on their shoulders. I feel like this person has carried the burden for a period of time. Maybe they've been single and maybe they've done everything on their own. Maybe they're a single parent. There's something here to that where it's like they've had to carry a lot. And I feel like this person also hides a lot of their pain and a lot of their emotions that they've gone through in the past. So being with you, Pisces, it's like they're trying to be very optimistic about, you know, being with you because I feel like they genuinely enjoy you. Now, as far as how you view them as all gifted, I feel like you, you see this person as having everything. You see this person as having, you know, having it all. And I also feel like maybe because the all gifted is here, it's almost to like a level of transformation with inside of your relationship. And it's only a matter of time before you both become one and before you both give yourself to each other. Um, can you give me more information on how Pisces feels about their person of interest? Ten of Cups. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, you're very optimistic. I also feel like this is Mars and Pisces. This is also about a level of... Um, you know, being very optimistic about taking charge, right? And having a very loving way of doing so. It's like, you know, this person definitely is a dreamer. And I feel like when you and this person are together or with one another, it's it's almost like everything is perfect, right? It's like for that one moment in time where you kind of like stop and everything is like still around you and you look around and you're just like, wow, like I'm so lucky to have them. This person is amazing. And I do feel like you're very possessive or um, you're very protective over this person. I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, also, too, you may want to have a family with this person. You may want to have children. Um, that's also coming in strongly here. One more thing on how Pisces feels about their person of interest. Whoa, hold on. How, how, I'm sorry, Spirit. Okay, Six of Wands. This may be somebody that's seen um, by the public. This may be somebody that has a, you know, following on any type of social media, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. This could also be somebody that you're very, very attracted to. That sex is amazing. This is Jupiter and Leo. This person definitely um, does well being around people, right? They definitely have a level that pulls at, you know, your heartstrings. This is matters of the heart. Um, and I also feel like, too, you know, they've been through a lot. And right now they're at a point in their life where you view them as somebody that is winning. And I feel like you see that. And there is a level of clarity here. You also may be at a distance from this person, I'm going to be honest, um, or from a different background, um, religion, nationality. 
What does Pisces like about their person of interest romantically? The lovers also can be dealing with a Gemini. I feel like for you, Pisces, honestly, you definitely feel like this is your soulmate. This is your Ten of Pentacles with your Three of Cups. I feel like you and this person speak the same love language, you know, um, and, and the Three of Cups, that's Mercury in um, Cancer. You know, when you guys get together, it's amazing. And this is something that is very solid. You have the Ten of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, I don't know. Physically, this is something that can be very fulfilling and rewarding, but then also emotionally too. It's a very well-balanced relationship and a very well-balanced situation. Now, for your current situation is you have the sun. So why is the sun here for the situation? Okay, with the two of wands. So this is Mars and, um, Mars and Aries, all right? So here's the thing. I feel like there is a level of ego here between either you or your partner, okay? Because the two of wands, you know, anyone that has a Mars and Aries, they tend to be a little bit egotistical and a little bit self-centered. I do want to say that. It's not that they mean to, but it's like they want what they want and they want it now, right? It's not something that they want to take, you know, weight on. It's it's also a um, a little bit of an aggressive energy, but it's, it, it's an ego thing. So for instance, if one person is making more money than the other, whoever has like a Mars and Aries, it's almost like, you know, um, it's a competition, right? Like there is some type of competition here when it does come to ego. That's what I'm picking up. Why? Why is there a competition or why? Why is the two of wands here for Pisces? Why is the two of wands here for Pisces and their situation? Okay, King of Pentacles, High Priestess, Taurus or Leo, um, again, Taurus, Cancer. You know, again, I just feel like this is something that's underneath. This is something that's hidden. Now, for those of you that are dealing, for those of you women that are dealing with men, um, it's the man that has the ego. For those of you men that are dealing with the women, it's probably your ego. I'm going to be honest. Um, and it's almost like trying to hide it. Or maybe this person tries to hide or maybe legit what's the decision here is this person has to make a choice between two people, you or this person, Pisces. And it's something that you've been hiding and it's a decision that you've had to make over a period of time. How would, how does... Okay, ask again. How does Pisces person of interest romantically, how did they feel about the current situation with them and Pisces? How do they feel about the current situation? Seven of Wands, you see? So I definitely don't think it is your partner, Pisces. Um, that's Saturn and Leo, or that's Mars and Leo. You know, I think that this person is just, tired of going back and forth. I'm going to be honest. I think that this person is tired of struggling. I think that this person is tired of, you know, the secrecy. I think that this person is tired of being hidden, maybe. Um, how does Pisces feel about the current situation with them and their partner? The Hermit. Okay, that's weird. There's Virgo. You and this person may be at, um, you guys may have had a fight today or yesterday or something about somebody not expressing themselves or somebody that's hiding, you know, what, what's being gifted. Why, why is the hermit and the seven of wands? Why, why is this here? Why, why are they not talking? Why are they not talking? Because of the wheel of fortune. Okay. Something's changed. Okay. What's changed here? There's Sag again. It could be travel plans that's changed. And now somebody's upset because the six of wands wanted to come out again. Um, what's changed here? The four of wands reversed. Like I said, somebody may not be coming to see somebody. It's like, Maybe there was some time that you and this person were supposed to spend with each other and then that was canceled or something happened during this time period. Um, 
How does Pisces, um, how does Pisces want to rectify this? How does Pisces justice Pisces I feel like you're just like look let's make it right okay possibly Libra uh Libra moon rising Venus or even sun I feel like for you Pisces honestly like you guys want to return back to a place where you're good with this person you don't want to be at odds with them um how does Pisces partner want to resolve this or Pisces person of interest the magician Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, or Aries, you know, for them, it's like they, they, they're ready for there to be a level of action. Like they're tired of waiting. They're tired of going through the motions. They're tired of, you know, not having a level of clarity. And I feel like for them, it's like, like I said, they're, they're somebody who um, has the ability to manifest things, Pisces. And I feel like, you know, this person is, is tired of being stuck and they're about to start manifesting some shit that's gonna, you know, force it, force the issue. Ace of Wands. Okay. They're going to take control of the situation possibly. Um, all right. So now we have the seven of cups as your block or obstacle. What is, um, why is Pisces confused? Why is Pisces in the seven of cups? Also, too, I want to say Seven of Cups, that's Venus and Scorpio. Like, yo, out of all the Venuses, Venus and Scorpio is off the hook. That's some freak nasty shit. That's some, like, I don't know. That's, like, off the hook. That's, like, you know, the 90s or early 2000s, like, Little Kim. Like, that's some, like, raunchy, what's poppin' type of sex. And honestly, I'm going to be 100%. I'm, I'm here for it, okay? But I just want to say that. So it can be the fact that you're constantly thinking about, you know, the intimacy level that you had with them the last time you've seen them. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Pisces? Princess of Wands, like I said, it's a sexual thing. What's blocking you is the fact that you're in your head. I don't know what happened with the last time you guys saw each other. Maybe you were worried that you didn't perform well. Maybe you're worried that something happened. Or maybe you're just genuinely an obstacle is the fact that you keep thinking about this person. Even when if you want to let them go, it's like, fuck, I can't. Look, you're stuck on their ass. Okay, there's a uh, Pisces and also Aquarius. Yeah, you're stuck in a state where like, you can't move. Why? Why is Pisces stuck? Why does Pisces feel stuck here? Ten of Swords reverse. Let me ask one more time. I wasn't feeling that. Why does Why does Pisces feel stuck right here? Why does Pisces feel stuck? Pisces feels stuck with the hangman. Three of Cups reversed. Okay. Pisces, you may be in a third party situation, okay? Um, this person, your new person may have found out about it. Remember what I said in the beginning of the reading? It's like, I feel like you're stuck in a situation that you've been in for a period of time and it just sucks. And I think it's not serving you. And I feel like it's hard for you because you don't know how to move forward. You don't know how to progress, right? You're like, well, what do I do? I've been here for so long that it's almost like you're just going through the motions. This is Mercury in Cancer. I also feel like this is you communicating probably to the other party that like, hey, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, I, I'm, I'm not with it. I'm over it. And this can also be your partner. Those of you that are cross watching, maybe this is what you're saying. How, would, um, how does Pisces partner feel about the Yep. Okay. They're like, listen, you work that shit out. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Virgo. They're 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 very like cut and dry. Like it's not serving you, fucking cut it, right? That's that's Mars and Capricorn. It's not making you sense if something is not working and you've been doing the same thing over and over and over again for a period of time, a long period of time, it's time to change your approach. It's time to take a different look or a different um angle or perception right? A different perspective on how you want to make things work with this person. That's how your partner feels. And they want you to cut it because the King of Swords just wanted to fly out with the Four of Cups reversed. Okay. There's Cancer Moon. It's like they're tired of the same habit happening because I do feel like this is a habit, right? I feel like you and you and your partner keep discussing your current partner or this new person coming in. Those of you that are single, this is somebody new that's coming in. Okay. 
Um, but whoever you're dealing with is like, no, oh no, I'm, I'm done. Like I'm done dealing with the back and forth shit. Like you need to make a decision and you need to figure out how to make it work. Um, how does Pisces feel about them communicating this to Pisces? <laughs> the high priestess. It's funny because the high priestess means, you know, like she knows, like, like, I feel like Pisces, like you already know that whoever you were dealing with or still have some type of ties to, it's not healthy. It's not healthy for you. It's not healthy to the person. And I think that, you know, it is a karmatic relationship that you need to cut if you do want to move forward with this other person. Who is the other person that Pisces five of wands? This is the other person you're dealing with. This is uh, Saturn in Leo. This is somebody you fight with all the time. This is somebody who watches your every step. This person may have a Venus in Cancer. Um, this person is very, I feel like uh, the, the person you were dealing with prior is very narrow-minded. Um, I feel like they watch your every move. I feel like, you know, uh, they're paying attention to everything. Look, as I said that, the Page of Swords comes out. And it's funny because in this deck, the Page of Swords is an enemy. Okay? Whether it's an enemy in your relationship or outside, the Page of Swords in this deck is not is not good. Okay? Period. If y'all don't believe me, Google it and it will show you what the hell that card means. Um, I also feel like there's a level of stalking here. Like this person is very immature in how they go about things. The person, your prior person or the person you need to fucking cut. Like this person, like if they don't want you to do something, then they'll definitely try to mind fuck you. And they'll do things to make your life hell. Which is why your current partner is like, no, I'm not dealing, I'm not dealing with this. This is ridiculous. So that's what I feel like the block is. Let's go back. The fact that you don't know how to get out of this shitty situation. You don't know what movements you need to take or what movements are needed to get you out of this hangman position. Because the longer you stay in this position, if you take a look, this is a sacrifice. You're sacrificing your happiness for what? For three of cups reversed? For no love? I'm sorry, but that's not me. No, thank you. No, ma'am. But here's the dope thing. Your guys' outcome is the Hierophant. So obviously something is going to be made right. There's a level of clarity that is given because over here, when your partner had the Seven of Cups or Seven of Wands, it was like a lack of clarity. Like they needed clarity from you. And I feel like somebody is getting a level of clarity. With that being said, Pisces, I love you guys so, so much. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.